So, recently, a senior vice president at Google let slip at a conference in Aspen mm, that 40% of Gen Zs aren't searching in Google. They're starting their searches for restaurants or products or what have you in TikTok and Instagram. Bad news for Google. So what have they been doing about this? Well, in 2022, they started showing TikToks and Instagram in their search results, which is excellent news for TikTok creators who want more views. So what should you do about this? Well, we teamed up with our SEO team here at Hootsuite to create a full-fledged TikTok SEO strategy that you can start using today. Hi, I'm Dmitry Popovic from Hootsuite Social Media Team, and this is Hootsuite Labs, where we teach you the science of social media marketing, how it works, and how to be successful. First, what is TikTok SEO anyway? TikTok SEO means optimizing your TikTok account and content for search and discovery. There are a few things that you can start doing today to help your TikToks show up when people are searching on TikTok and now also when people search on Google too. The obvious benefit is more views from people who are actively seeking your content and not just that first spike of views, but long running evergreen content that gets more popular over time, not less. And the third benefit is that you never have to rack your brain for post ideas again. Eureka! Just do a little keyword research to find out what people are searching for in your niche, and then boom, boom, bow, bow, give the people what they want! Having a real SEO strategy means that you can say goodbye to slapping a few hashtags on your content before you hit post. Instead, the keywords come first. In fact, the keywords inspire the content that you make. The more people searching for the word or phrase, aka search volume, the more views you can potentially get. Step one, do your keyword research. Researching which keywords or topics to use in your TikTok content is a relatively new game. Blog writers do it. YouTube creators <clears throat> do it. And now it's time for Instagram and TikTok creators to tap into this potential too. The good news is that this is such a new tactic that the competition is light. The bad news is that TikTok SEO is so new that there are no dedicated third-party tools to help you yet. You can try SEMrush or Google Trends to see what people are looking for on Google, but to see what people are searching for on TikTok, the best thing to do is pick up your phone, head over to TikTok, and tap the search icon. Then, go ahead and enter one of your main go-to keywords, and TikTok will populate other search phrases that people have been using. So, if I type in houseplant, TikTok will come up with a bunch of suggestions, which will show you what people have been already searching for. And to get more keyword ideas, go ahead and type houseplant A. Houseplant aesthetic comes up. Houseplant addiction. Type B. Houseplant benefits. Houseplant bugs. Once you've found a bunch of keywords that you think you can make content about, you want to go ahead and check what's already ranking for each keyword. If you're looking at these TikToks and they're old, not exactly answering the question, or you think you can make something better, then that is a perfect keyword for you to go after. On to step two. Step two, make TikToks about the best keywords. Once you have a handful of keywords that you think you can make content for, go ahead and make it. The one key tip for this step is to say out loud in your video your target keyword and also add them as text somewhere in your video. <laughs> I love using my own natural houseplant bug spray, and you can make it at home. Wow, I had no idea. Five houseplant benefits that'll change your life. My number one houseplant care tip, never let them sit in water. Pro tip. 
batch film your TikToks all at once and schedule them out over time. You can use a TikTok scheduler like Hootsuite to save a bunch of time. Step three, add your keywords to the caption and hashtags. When you're posting or scheduling your TikToks, you wanna make sure your keywords show up in the caption too. Yes, we mean the transcription of your speech, but also the descriptive text that accompanies the video too. It's a crucial step. Arguably more crucial than hashtags, but you don't wanna add those too. Why are we so skeptical of hashtags on TikTok? Because of this experiment we did on Instagram Reels hashtags, where it turned out that they do not matter at all. Watch here. Step number four, embed your TikTok in a microblog on your website. This is a slightly more intense step that will help your TikToks show up on Google, not just TikTok. It can also help you if you have an SEO strategy for your website too. The idea is to create a microblog that targets each keyword. Embedding your TikTok in a microblog is a short form equivalent of embedding your YouTube video in a 3,000 word blog post. And trust me, that is also a thing. It's just way, way more work. Step number five, check your rankings. You'll regularly wanna check your analytics to see how many of your views are coming from search as opposed to for the For You page or your followers. You'll also wanna put aside time to do a spot check on the rankings and see if you've got into the top spots for any of your target keywords. Last but certainly not least, step number six, use your keywords in your TikTok profile too. I almost forgot. Do yourself a favor and spend five minutes adding your most relevant target keywords to your user profile too. It'll help your whole account show up in search. Easy win. All right, well that's all the time we have for today. Want some more SEO tips? More TikTok tips? More experiments? <laughs> Let us know. All of your questions right below. Bye for now, friends. <laughs>